Um, alors, as you know, the French presidency of the European Union has started uh, on the 1st of January. Um, and we believe that um, this is a good occasion for us to give uh, an, an impulsion or a political uh, impetus to deal with different issues. And of course, issues um, that are important for uh, the European citizens. So we, we believe that what the European citizens uh, expect from the European Union, uh, it's a European Union that delivers for them, that protects them, uh, protect their health in a time of pandemic, protect their security in an even more unstable world, protect their, um, their fundamental rights and values, protect their uh, economic prosperity nowadays and in the future, and protect also their social rights, uh, such as, for instance, minimum wages. So we have uh, built our uh, priorities on the, this, uh, those concerns, uh, those uh, uh, challenges and goals that we would like to achieve. And so the, the motto of our presidency is recovery, strength, and sense of belonging. What does it mean? Uh, it means that uh, we'll um, try to work hard on three pillars, around three pillars. The first one is how to ensure the prosperity of the European Union. So we have been very reactive uh, during the pandemic to adopt an emergency package uh, to help the, uh, our economies and our societies. Now we need to think about the future, uh, which kind of European uh, economic and social model we want uh, for our uh, European Union. And uh, so there, there will be a specific summit, which will be organized in March, uh, on this specific issue to, to think about the Europe of 2030 that we would like to, uh, to build. So this is the first pillar, recovery. The second pillar is sovereignty. Sovereignty, uh, what does it mean? It means a European Union which is uh, strong enough uh, which is able to defend, to protect its interests uh, all over the world, where, wherever uh, and uh, whenever they, they are uh, weakened or targeted. So we need to have a strong uh, European defense. That's why uh, we would like to, to work on what we call the strategic compass. The strategic compass, it will be a, a kind of defense and security white paper which will assess our security environment, the threats that we are faced with, and which will define uh, which kind of means, which kind of uh, capabilities we need to confront those, uh, those threats on our security. And what is very important in this, uh, in this framework is to reduce our dependencies, to ensure our strategic autonomy. So we will work on that, and uh, probably in March, the heads of state and government will adopt uh, this uh, strategic compass, which is a very important uh, document for the future. The third pillar is democracy. Uh, we have seen that our values, the European standards, have been targeted, have been weakened, have been attacked, so we need to strengthen uh, those values and uh, to defend our um, model uh, our values, the uh, liberal democracy, uh, and, uh, and this is very, uh, very important also for our citizens because uh, when our rights are attacked, uh, it's really the society and uh, our history which is attacked. So we'd like to um, develop our sense of belonging. Uh, that means that we'd like to have a more human Europe closer to its citizens and taking care of the youth also. Uh, there will be a very strong impetus, a focus put on the, on the youth. Uh, we are commemorating this year the 35th anniversary of the Erasmus program. So it's a very successful program. So it's just to give you an example, but we have a lot of events and, uh, and measures that will be adopted uh, during uh, this uh, French presidency. Six months, it's a very short period of time, so we won't change everything, but we hope that uh, with humility that we could try to give a push and uh, to give a new impetus to those, uh, uh, those uh, priorities and uh, challenges. Mm -hmm. I have to say that we are very much worried by the current stalemate on the Cyprus issue. 
because we think that every day that passes uh, makes the, the efforts uh, that will be necessary to go back to the, to, to the table of negotiations and to the solution even more difficult. And it's in the interest of uh, nobody, nor the uh, Greek Cypriots, nor the Turkish Cypriots. So maybe the first step, uh, th there need to be a sense of urgency. So the first step could be for the sides maybe to agree on the, on the appointment of a UN envoy in order to help both sides to, uh, to find um, an agreement on the way forward, how to uh, resume, how to uh, go back to the table of negotiations. You will see that uh, probably tomorrow, the, uh, the very um, uh, Soon the new resolution will be adopted, renew, renewing the mandate of UNFICIP in, the, in New York will be adopted. And this resolution reaffirms uh, the fact that we consider the UN parameters are the only uh, framework realistic in order to settle, to, um, to settle the problem and to find a solution. Why? Because the problem is the division of the island. So, we need a reconciliation, we need a reunification. And what is important is to find uh, the right institutional and security architecture that could allow both sides, uh, Greek Cypriots, Turkish Cypriots, to live, to work, to prosper together under one roof, on a very, on a reunified island and uh, within the European Union. So this is what we consider the solution, and of course the bizonal, bicommunal federation with political equality, uh, as includes the um, enough flexibility in order to find this right balance, in order for everybody to feel safe and to feel respected in its rights in this uh, future federation. Um, you mentioned the, the confidence building measures. Of course, we consider that they are of utmost importance, and especially in this period of time uh, when there is no process, there is no negotiation. So they are very important. And so we will, of course, encourage uh, both sides to, to, to find, uh, to, to implement mutually agreed uh, confidence building measures. And we will uh, encourage, we will uh, support uh, any uh, proposal or initiative that could benefit the populations. Because the, the, the real meaning of uh, confidence building measures, it's also to benefit the, the population, the people. And so we'll um, work alongside the, 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 the parties, but also the, the UN in order to, uh, to try to encourage for those uh, CBMs, as we say in uh, diplomatic uh, language, uh, these confidence-building measures to be implemented. So you think the EU has a role to play, right? Yes, the EU has a role, because uh, in the end, uh, the Federation uh, and the, the future state will be a member, a member of the European Union. So, of course, the EU has a role to play. I have to say that I'm really very uh, happy because uh, we have made tremendous uh, progress uh, as far as uh, our relationship is concerned uh, in matters of education, uh, culture, and also francophony. Uh, so different, uh, very important measures have been taken in order to uh, strengthen um, uh, the, the, the teaching of uh, French language in, uh, in Cypriot public schools. So uh, it's a very, very nice, very good progress. And the French Cypriot school of Nicosia has developed also tremendously in the past, uh, in the past year. Uh, now we have uh, almost 444 uh, kids studying uh, in the French courses, in the French uh, sector. Um, so it's very important and we are going to open uh, a branch of this school in Limassol uh, in September. So that will be also a, a new positive development uh, in our bilateral partnership. Progress can be made. Uh, we have room for maneuver to improve our uh, economic uh, partnerships. And uh, in order to 
ensure that the two uh, business circles know each other better because uh, there are not so many links uh, between them. So French investors or companies, they don't know uh, all the potential or all the, um, uh, the opportunities that they could find in Cyprus and the contrary is, uh, is true also. So uh, the job of the embassy, uh, what we are striving to do, what we are trying to do, it's to uh, develop those contacts between the two business circles. So I think we can, we can improve our uh, economic uh, relationship. As far as defense is concerned, uh, because you mentioned that, of course, our partnership is very strong. Uh, it's very good. Uh, very soon, the Charles de Gaulle, uh, the aircraft carrier, will, uh, will uh, do a port call in, uh, in the port of Limassol, so as last year. Uh, and we have had, during the past year, we have had a lot of uh, joint exercises uh, bilateral ones, but also multilateral ones with other nations, such as Greece, uh, Egypt. Uh, and uh, so we are quite uh, happy of this uh, increasing uh, interoperationality, as we, as we, call, uh, as we call it. Uh, I think I, I'm not wrong. Uh, and um, this is a part of the European defense that uh, we would like to, to see uh, emerging in the coming years. So yes, our uh, relationship in the sector of defense is good, uh, but uh, nothing new. 